the beautiful and welcome to makeup. <laughs> it just brings me so much joy. <laughs> I'm so excited for this video. I'm so excited because I'm always saying, I'm always saying to people like you always start somewhere and then you like just keep practicing and keep doing what you're doing and keep like being passionate and like focusing on that passion and then you never know where you're gonna be in like a few years time. So I thought to myself, hey, let's put my money where my mouth is. I can't really do it with my content because I'm still learning and I'm still like the teeniest bit trash. Ooh, that was cute. Let's do that again. Oh, I love wigs. <laughs> So because I can't do it with my content yet, I thought, why not go down a cute little trip of memory lane and watch the first video that one of my makeup inspirations ever put out. So today we're gonna to be watching Miki Tutorials' first makeup video and following along with it. I just think it's gonna be so fun knowing the Nikki that I know now and going back, I think like 11 years or something like that, going back 11 years and seeing how she started. Okay, so we're gonna look up Nikki Tutorials. Oh my gosh, there she is. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go to oldest and then... <gasps> that is not the Nikki tutorial thumbnails I am used to. Oh my gosh. Makeup tutorial, my first official look for YouTube. Oh, so cute. 12 years ago, dang. Hey YouTubers, this is going to be my first um, makeup tutorial. Um... There's so much to unpack. <laughs> I don't even know how to phrase what I'm like thinking in my brain right now without sounding like a big a-hole. Um, so we're gonna try. Just like, I'm so used to the like professional quality that Nikki puts out, like both in lighting, camera quality, microphone quality, just like her skills. Um, just like the overall like aesthetic always looks like super crisp, super clean of all of her videos. So to see a video where the lighting is just like all at her forehead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all at her forehead and like the camera angles almost like up to her note. I just, oh my gosh, we all started from somewhere and this is so cute. Also, I'll have captions going in this because like my attention span is like blech, so I have like captions on every single one of my videos because like sometimes like I zone out for a second and then I zone back in and I'm like, oh gosh, what are they just saying? Then I can just quickly read the captions and then I'm up to date. Ah, oh, this is so exciting. Um, oh my gosh. I hope you guys like it. I already did my face makeup and now we're going to start with our eyes. Um... Wait, you already did your face makeup? Oh no, I haven't done my face makeup. Nikki! Okay, wait, face makeup. Super professional with the application. Oh, my wig's coming off already. Lol, I'm the worst. Oh, I think this is the foundation that's the wrong color for me. Well, it's already on my face. Oh wait, has she done all of her base makeup? That means contour and stuff. Nikki! I look so dewy. And some people are gonna be like, wow, that glow. It's just sweat. We're going to do our base with a white pencil. A white pencil? I don't know if I have a white pencil. Oh, that crust dissolve! Um, <laughs> Okay, so I gotta put white. Do I have a white pencil? Oh, I do. I just bought one. That's amazing. Haven't done this trick before. Maybe I'm about to learn a new beauty technique. What's next, Goddess Nikki? See that? Oh, what color is I'm that? Stippling on the. Ooh, you look like a green duo curve. Nikki, I can't see what color that is. <laughs> okay, I think one's like a gold and one's like a green. Oh, damn, that actually did kind of work. I kind of like the eye pencil. This looks like a similar color, but I also can't tell. How old would she have been? Because I know that she's a year older than me. And that makes me sad that I'm so unaccomplished in comparison. <laughs> if that was 12 years ago and she's 26, then she would have been, come on, math. She would have been 14. I love baby Nikki. She's a hot day in Australia. It is summer, so like, what do we expect? The same brush, the matte Same brush, love it. S. I don't and have then, those. Oh, I don't think I have the right colors. Now, the other eye. Nikki, this better not be copyrighted okay. music, babes. Okay, so we're gonna pack and then we're gonna blend it up um, with a cheap, cheap, cheap drugstore brush. I love it. Nikki, am I doing this right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> now we're going to take our gosh, paradise. I love what color is it? And in the 
in what the color, color is it? The eye. Nikki, what color are you? What color is it? Okay, so she wants a nice light effect. Um, so maybe it's a lighter color, so I've got like a lighter gold. Maybe my brightness isn't up enough. Maybe, maybe it's me. Maybe it's not Nikki. It's probably me. I'm not gonna lie, that kind of did nothing. Um. it's <laughs> black gold. Black gold. Get your big Mac 1-6 for S brush again. Okay. Okay, a black glitter. Cute. So far this is looking cute though. I don't know if it's correct, but it is kind of looking cute. Um, Barry M. Dazzled us in number 24. It's all gold. Okay, more yeah. gold. I don't have gold glitter Angle either. Brush. Oh, okay. We're gonna... Where's my smudge brush? Oh, I'm, I've literally got a sweat mo. Big fluffy brush. We're putting white and to blend. Circular motions and rainbow motions. <laughs> Circular and rainbow. Just right. take double eyeliner like that. It's kind of angled. It's a cream eyeliner. Here. Oh, Nikki, why would you do me dirty like this? You want me to cream eyeliner? Oh, Nikki. The closest thing I've got to what she's got is this like really crusty gel pot. I think that's what she went for. I don't know. And. Blend. Oh, she's smudging it. Blend the line! Nikki! Like that. I'm going to add some mascara. And okay, wait. Lip gloss mascara and, and lip gloss. Then I okay. Will be back. I've got those things. Shouldn't specify if I was allowed to use a guillotine. But I'm using my guillotine. And uh, lip gloss. This one's like green, but then it comes out pink according to your pH or something. I think it's really, really cute. Uh, also, it really like stimulates the chemistry part of my brain, so I love that. Hey guys, um, I'm back. Um, you are. I added some mascara, of course. Um, my lip gloss already faded away. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope you guys like this look. Um, I really love it. Is that it? So, um, Give me some feedback on how I did and maybe give me some tips on how I can do better. So, um, she's so wholesome. I hope you guys like it and uh, stay tuned for my new video. So, this is my first one, but I really wanted to make hundreds of it. So, stay tuned and she's thanks so for watching. Wholesome. Here are the pictures. Oh my god, yes, show me the pictures. Give me some sexy slow mos. Ah, oh, I didn't do too badly. That is some copyrighted music, Nikki. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's that's the finished look. I don't know if like the lack of steps is a product of the era that like it was made in or if it's a product of just like inexperience or what it is because what I am not seeing on my face right now is highlight. Where is my glow? I need it. Oh, that was a bit too much. <laughs> Where's my glow? Um, <laughs> sometimes I force my voice too much. That was definitely one of the times that I'm gonna weep off the very little makeup that I have on my face. I'm not seeing eye feathers either, so like I don't think they were super popular back then, so that doesn't really surprise me. I guess highlighter wasn't either, so maybe it is just a product of the time, but we have done nothing to the eyebrow, but then again, I don't think Instagram was around back then, so it makes sense that we don't have the Instagram eyebrow going on. Vicky, where's the cock crease? <laughs> like for a first look, I'm not... Like, this is still a pretty cute look. It definitely doesn't come up on camera as much as it does in person. I do actually really like it. I like the golds, I like the greens. I kind of like the natural quality to it. It looks like there's a lot happening on my face when there's not a lot happening on my face, so I kind of really enjoy that. I'm just so taken aback by the insane contrast between that Nikki and the Nikki that, like, we know now and I've loved and watched for years because that Nikki finished that so wholesomely. She was sitting there being like, I want to make more videos. Please give me advice and feedback because I want to get better. And it's just like, babes, you have no idea what is going to happen to you this decade. You are going to make big collaborations with big makeup brands. You are going to be an ambassador of makeup brands. You are going to do talk show interviews. You are going to have millions of subscribers. You are going to have the power of makeup video that broke the makeup community on YouTube. YouTube for a bit. You are just, you are, you have no idea what is about to come your way and I just, 
I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I guess I'm proud. Um, I guess I'm proud of her, which is weird because she has no idea who I am. But I guess I'm proud of her. For her to go from that to who she is now is just that glow up. So like just confident, professional, just so intelligent and just like really knows her craft and really knows what she's doing. And I just, I'm just so blown away. But this is what I mean when I say that everyone started somewhere. Everyone started at the bare basics and they just kept working and they kept improving. And then the people that have succeeded the most are the ones that just keep practicing even though they feel accomplished. And I feel as though Nikki's one of those ones because I feel as though she was accomplished years ago and she could have stopped practicing and she could have stopped trying to better herself, but she still keeps trying to better herself and still keeps trying to learn. I'm so glad that I did this video because it kind of even though like I'm doing pretty well for myself it gives me more hope that I can do more than just this in the future if I keep going with it so I guess I have so many emotions right now but they're all of the good ones which is wild for me <laughs> But now that we've had that cute little trip down memory lane, the makeup is on, we are looking so cute! And because I'm a legitimate beauty goddess on YouTubes, there's only one thing left to do, and that is... Some sexy! A slow mouse! Without copyrighted music. Boom! <laughs> I still feel so naked! Where are my brows, Nikki? Please let me know what you think of this video. Please let me know how you think I did in following. And please let me know if this kind of contrast blew you away as well, because I'm still in absolute awe. But as I've said so many times in this video, if there is something that you are passionate about in this world, chase it. Do not hold back for anyone or any reason. Go out there, take it by the horns and make it yours. And if you're one of those people out there that just hasn't found something that they're really passionate about, make a list of all the things that you've always wanted to try. Do them one by one until you have one that just makes you feel so good under any kind of circumstance and then chase that. Just explore the world a bit, find something fun, find something you love and then for no reason hold back because you don't deserve to live a life with regret. You don't deserve to go two years down the track, look back and think to yourself, wow, I really wish that I did something. So you know what? Today is the day. Go out there, find the thing you're passionate about, explore the world and find the thing you're passionate about that way and then take it and don't take no for a reason. Chase it and don't take no for a reason. And while you're out there, don't forget what your mother always says. If you can't say something nice, say something cruel.